Hello everyone, this is Dom Segalas and I'm here at Superbooth with Yamaha Synths and in this video I'm going to show you the new ESP expanded soft synth plugin for the Montage M. So I'm going to start with a very simple sound that is going to be included in the operating system 2.0 update and I'm going to start playing this on the actual synthesizer on the Montage M. And this sound is called Cosmic Pad to Pluck, and it sounds like this. Which also happens to be an ANX Smart Morph sound. Now, check this out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off local control on the montage. So the montage doesn't play anything right now. And I'm going to switch to Cubase. And right here, I have the plugin loaded. So right now, I'm just using the montage as a MIDI keyboard. It doesn't produce any sound. But check this out. I'm going to activate my channel. And already, you can see I can move my super knob and all the controls move for my Smart Morph, and let's listen. Polyphonic aftertouch, of course. So, how is this all possible? If you don't know about the ESP, it was already released, but uh, it was you couldn't do deep editing. Now you have all the editing capabilities of the Montage M into this miracle plugin, if you ask me, because this allows me to go deep into the sound. I can load sounds, I can save sounds, I can do sound design in there, and it produces the sound itself which means that if you're, let's say, a live performer and you are going for a gig and you're on the plane and you don't have your keyboard with you and you want to change some things on your live set, you might want to add a sound or just re change something, do some minor changes in your mix. You can work on the plugin, listen to the sound, which is identical, and then when you're back to your instrument, you can go ahead and load whatever you did in the plugin inside your instrument. So are you, I know you can't see it uh, for the, those people that are here, but it's pretty much the montage inside your laptop. So what you could do is change the scenes. And the great thing that I found, because this is still in beta right now, but what I found is that you don't need to set up anything. Everything works as it should. So if I want to change the scenes, for example, go scene number two, three. Super not works. And you can see everything working right here. But the great thing is that I can see my live set. So if I go to my live set here, I can see all the sounds that I have loaded inside the montage. So I can say, okay, I'm going to load this sound now, and it loads the sound straight away, instantly. Also, the shimmer reverb, the new shimmer reverb that's on the uh, operating system 2.0. a completely different sound. Like, let's go for, a, I don't know, uh, this orchestral sound here. So, let's go. That all works from the plugin identical sound and I can select let's let's switch sounds very quickly 
Let's go for this new CP80. So I have to repeat again, all everything you hear right now comes from the plugin, from inside Cubase, right? So this is magical. So what you can do, you can load uh, live sets, you can load just the sound that you're working on at the moment. Let's say I create a sound on the fly. I can just hit a button, I can show you right here with a sync, edit buffer, the sound goes into my computer or vice versa. If I have a sound inside the montage, I can just bring it to the computer. And the same goes for user files, the same goes for library files, the same goes for backup files. And the only thing you have to do is install it. It's free for all Montage M users. So when you have a Montage M, you also have a, in, you actually have two. <laughs> you have the plugin and you have the actual hardware. And coming from a sound designer perspective, uh, I, I like creating my own sounds and this is huge because that means I can work with the engine of the Montage M anywhere I am in the world just by having the, oh, I have to say, you don't need to have it connected to it. So it's not like the Montage M is like a huge dongle so that you can run the software. No, it's all free. Yamaha made it all like completely flexible. So you can work on your sounds, live sets, create whatever you need. And then when you're back in the studio with a montage and you want to actually play it, because obviously for this one, you're relying on your computer CPU, but here you have the DSPs and it's like, you know, nothing can go wrong with DSPs. It's all super stable. You go to the studio, load it up and everything you've done over there works. Or let's say you're collaborating, you're a gigging musician and you're collaborating with uh, different producers. You can say, okay, I'm going to create all my sounds in the studio. And then if I'm working with this other producer, I'm going to go there with my laptop and have all my sounds there without carrying the synth necessarily, because sometimes it's not possible. So everything is there. You can edit your super knob. You can do, see the knob automation, the scenes. You can actually edit all the different engines. So if you want to edit your ANX engine, no problem. I can just go to an ANX part here, hit edit, and now I can see all the different things, the LFOs, the uh, waveforms. I can have access to the insert effects. I can have access to everything basically that you can do on the montage. The only exception is the smart morph for now. So the actual smartphone that you can see here on the montage where you have this nice box and you can change the different sounds. This is not there yet, but it will play sounds that were created using smart morph. So extremely powerful. I'm going to play a few more sounds and uh, let's play ah, again. I'm going to show you how quickly it loads them. Let's go for a different sound. I'm going to play the new CFX2. It's not like it's you're waiting for, you know, if you're working with sample libraries, you know what I mean? You never have to wait for a sample to load. Oh, I have a huge piano sound. This is a CFX2 really detailed. And the, the shimmer reverb. I didn't need to wait for like 30 seconds, one minute to load this sound. Like immediately I can go to a completely... Oh. So this is like with the new wave folder modifier that we have right there. Uh, let's go for this one. This is ah, super booty. I'm going to play this sound and I'm going to leave you with this one. So this is a sound that allows you to morph between different analog uh, drum sounds using the ANX engine. So, it's one part, just one part, but I'm controlling because of the smart morph, all the different, I, I, I morph from a kick drum to a snare. 
to a plumb to like a, I don't know, a crash, or I can just use a sequence. from the plugin, right? So, this is the new ESP. If you've been using the previous version, now you should update straight away. This is coming out end of June, and it's going to be free for all Montage end users. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'm absolutely sure you're going to enjoy it if you have a Montage here. Uh, and uh, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.